What's up guys, here is Evil Stuff Gaming, my name is Evil, and let's get it on. Today I want to show you another part of my UI and add-on series. Today we're gonna straight forward to the next configuration parts. Last time we uh, configured the footer of the UI, and today we want to go straight to the top with uh, different configuration methods. So uh, let's talk about the coloration. I got a private message uh, from one of the viewer that told me how I could change coloration because uh, he uh, noticed that he could only use the coloration of the class he, is, uh, crea he creates and uh, you aren't. You can, the sky is the limit. You can use any class colors you want. Also with warriors. So let's go straight to the configuration and coloration menu. So let's click the Louis, Louis uh, version 3 settings panel. So here we are. Go straight to coloration and here we are in the coloration sec section. So as you can see right now the seam is warrior but you can change it to any color you want or class color you want. Just go straight to this night. As you can see you have a red color in between. Or you want to use green so we use the 100 color. Or you want to use the monk's color. It's a little bit darker. Darker green. Or you want to use yellow. So... Oh, what the fuck. That looks crazy. <laughs> okay, let's switch it. Uh, or you want to use priest. Or mage. The blue color. Or shaman. It's a little bit darker as you can see here this is a little bit transparency so uh, so it's a little bit lighter but usually it's this color so um, I switch back to worry again so you see uh, you are flexible within the coloration you also can uh, uh, import themes export themes you can create themes in this uh, section Top texture, texture color panels, so you can create your own seam if you want. Your the sky's the limit, as I said before. So uh, this was the first thing I wanted to talk about because uh, it pops up, and a viewer was interested how this is working. Another part is, as you can see on the top right side, the minimap, it's a little bit too small in my opinion. So let's, uh, let's grow it a little bit up, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Go to the Louis version 3 menu, minimap, and just move this to the size you want. As you can see, the maximum is 250%, but I use it normally on 150%. That looks really really great. So let's leave it that way. Okay, as you can see too, there are the offsets. You, so you can move uh, the, the minimap frame wherever you want. You can uh, move it slower, higher, left side, right side. You can do it with this values. So you can move it also, no problem. Okay, this was also very important to change the size of the minimap. Another point is that is really important and uh, I'm sure uh, some guys of you um, want to know how to move it and change stuff in between that frames. I want to talk about the player frames, the target frames, and the target of the target frames. So let's go straight to the player frame. This is the player frame, this is the target frame, and this is the target of the target frame. So let's uh, move it a little bit 
on the, uh, the target frame on the right side and the player frame more on the, the left side. So you have a little bit space in between. So let's go to the settings again. Go to unit frames. And here we are. Go to player if you want to uh, move the player frame. And here we are the values, the offset values where you can move it around. So we say we want the player frame a little bit more on the left side. So let's switch it to the left side. Okay. This looks good in this position. That's what I normally do like this. So uh, let's do the same on the target side. So we move it a little bit more to the right side. Here we are. And as you can see, the target of the target doesn't uh, move. So we have to uh, move it around too. So we move it. Okay, looks good. So right now we have uh, moved it uh, to the right side, the target frame and the player frame on the left side. You c it looks a little bit not fitting this, this uh, the button frame. So let's go straight, straight to the target again and move it to 300 that was too much move it to 350 okay looks a lot better 70 okay should be should be fine let's move it a little bit too the target of the target, a little bit more to the left side too again. I would say 600, looks good. We'll leave this. So as you can see, we uh, moved the, the player, the target and the target of the target frames in between the UI. So there is no problem to move it around. You also can move it to the top, to the bottom, to the right, to the left, wherever you want. So, but this is how I like to have my player and target stuff. Okay, let's go to the next point. The next point is, uh, let's go straight to uh, the packs. In between the UI, there is also a pack add-on. So let's check this out. Here we are. You can move it around wherever you want. As usual, you can stack and sort stuff. Here are the, the container, the slots for the packs. So you can put any stuff into. It's really awesome, works really great and you don't need any special add-on uh, to use your pack stuff and it's really ha handsome. So no problem to work with that. Okay, I would say this is enough for part two. Let's go straight to part three and I will talk a little bit more about uh, the header stuff, what you can do, what you can't do, what is changeable and, and stuff like that. So, um, I want to shorten this episode, as I said in my first video, I want to shorten this a little bit up. And so I do some parts and make the videos a little bit smaller. So I would say, no, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't end up with my motto yet. Because I want to say, if you have any specific questions, please drop me a line below. Because um, 
I will take this questions and answer the question questions in between my videos. So uh, if you have any specific questions or anything you aren't able to configure or stuff like that, drop me a line below. I will pick it up and it goes straight forward to the next parts and the next videos. So I would say I end up with my motto, keep it real and it's all about the games. Bye bye guys. Job job.